no matter what color you are, if you do what is necessary to succeed in the marketplace, you will have a good life in this country. What is necessary? You have to get educated. If you're in a bad school, you got to do it on your own. Okay, you got to read, you got to try, you got to go to the library. If the school is terrible, you got to do it on millions of people have done that. All right? If you're in a poor neighborhood, you can get out. But you become educated or you become skillful. God has given every one of us, this is why I believe in God, a skill, talent. Every human being on earth is born with a talent. If there were no God, there would be some human beings that had nothing going for them. But that's not true. Even the autistic and the people who are born with disabilities all have talent. You find out what your talent is, and you should know by the time you're 12, you develop that talent, and you bring it to the marketplace, okay? You will be rewarded economically for that in this society, in the capitalistic society. In the socialist society, you will not there, everybody gets the same. The government tells you what that same is. You don't want to live under that. Those Cuban people, they're not happy over there. Those people in China like to get the hell out. Why do you think millions of people want to come here? So this race business, this white supremacy, it's all a lie, a big con, driven by Black Lives Matter and other organizations to create instability. We want to blow up our system, pit one American against the other, black against white, straight against gay. You can see it, but many people aren't smart enough to understand it. There is racism in this country, and it is unacceptable. I won't deal with anybody who says a racist thing. That's it. Everybody knows that. So they don't say it around me. And I was that way when I was 10. It just makes me sick. And on the other side, on the minority side, you don't have an excuse to be a racist, Maxine Waters. I'm not calling you a racist, because I don't know you. But your behavior is, as the judge said, abhorrent. I thank you for watching us tonight. I hope you respect this broadcast. And we will see you tomorrow.